Both rabbits and hares are small mammals that look very much alike. They belong to the Leporidae family. Rabbits and hares both have unique features, including long hind legs and ears. They are also skittish but fast. Because of these similarities, people may sometimes mistake one for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? The size is one of the easiest ways to figure out the difference between rabbits and hares. In general, hares are larger than rabbits. Rabbits are about 8 to 20 inches in length. They weigh approximately 1 to 4.4 pounds. Hares are roughly 16 to 28 inches in length. They weigh approximately 3 to 12 pounds. Their long ears and hind legs are also different. Rabbit's ears can measure more than 2 inches. They also have long and powerful hind legs. Hare's ears grow up to 8 inches, and their hind legs are longer than rabbit's legs. Rabbit's fur is usually long and soft. The coat color is white, brown, gray, black, etc. They molt, but the fur color does not change much. Not every hair has such a distinct transformation though. Different from rabbits, most hairs can have different fur colors depending on the season. In other words, their fur color changes throughout their molting process. For example, snowshoe hairs are white during the winter, but they turn darker in the seasons of summer and fall. The speed is another factor to show the difference between rabbits and hares. Most rabbits can run approximately 25 miles per hour. Hares, on the other hand, can reach amazing speeds of 45 miles per hour. Rabbits and hares mostly consume grass and leaves that they can access. But there are some differences. Rabbits eat grasses, vegetables, and soft stems. They also enjoy fruit from time to time. Compared with rabbits, hares prefer tougher substances, like small twigs and tree bark, in addition to grasses. They also like to eat low-hanging fruit or wild seeds. Some breeds, such as the snowshoe hare, are even carnivorous during the winter. So, they consume meat, mostly dead animals. Both rabbits and hares live in America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Their habitats overlap in some parts of the world, but they prefer to live in different environments. Rabbits' habitats include grasslands, meadows, forests, woods, deserts, and wetlands. They like places where they can flee and hide from predators. Different from rabbits, hares live in open habitats on the edge of wooded areas and arid scrublands. They prefer these places so that they can run away from their predators. Rabbits usually live underground. They dig burrows and warrens, or they steal them from other creatures. These complex underground systems keep them safe from predators. Hares, on the other hand, tend to live above ground. They prefer to make nests in open areas. From time to time, they inhabit tree hollows that other animals have abandoned. The social structures of rabbits and hares are different as well. Rabbits are very social animals, and they live in colonies of 20 or more. Since a dominant male will mate with most of the females, males have to fight the others. Hares, however, are solitary animals. So, they meet up with others in the winter for mating season, and males do not fight other males. Their gestation periods and their litter's conditions are also different. Rabbits are pregnant for 30 days, and they give birth to 4 to 12 litters. Hare's gestation period is 45 days, and their litters are 6 or fewer. Rabbits' babies are called kits or kittens. These kits are hairless and blind when they are born. 
They are helpless, so they depend on their mothers for the first eight weeks of their life. Hare's babies are called leverets. They are born ready for the wild. They already have hair, and they can see and even hop around. They are weaned from their mother by the second or third week of their life. Now you know how to tell the differences between rabbits and hares. That's all I have for today. Thank you.